guys this my brother was crying he was just crying i did everything in my powers god knows i danced i sang all those weird weird things that we even do i did all of these things this child was still crying i said crying with this baby like hey guys what's good what is happening so um if you see my face for the first time here you're most welcome uh, in this channel, we do everything beauty, fashion, and lifestyle, okay? And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, just as the title says, there's are like 15 interesting facts about me. So this is a question and answer video, okay? So let's get right down to the video. question is my favorite chore not that I like chores but my favorite chore would be um, cleaning and mobbing that's because of I feel like when I do this chore especially when I'm like emotionally down or whatever I feel like I'm cleansing my spirit like it just makes me feel better I don't know about you but if you're like me if you you know feel better after cleaning and rearranging and mobbing your house or your room even if it's not dirty let me know in the comment section okay um what item what one item in your wardrobe can you not live without Guys, I'm looking down because um, I wrote them down. So um, that would be black gown. That would be black gown. Like that's like one thing I always try to shop for black gowns. I don't know if it's because of the course I'm studying or whatever. But yeah, I like black gowns. So yeah. What are your most read books like right now? um a bible will be one of them and then this book the smart money woman i don't know guys that book changed my life it changed my perspectives about life about finance about a lot of things and i think i'm going to make a separate video explaining you know what that book taught me or then other important books you should try to read okay Moving on, moving on, moving on, guys. What is the most important thing in your life? Um, that would be my faith. Yeah, that would be my faith. That's like the most important thing in my life. Okay. Who, guys, moving on. Who is the best teacher you've ever had? Um, that would be my mom. My mom was my first ever teacher. She used to teach me, you know, um, alphabet in our native dialect and she has been an understanding and a patient person i'm so sorry about the background noise guys like i don't even know they want to frustrate me today don't mind them okay so um that would be my mom she has always been a very patient and an understanding person she's just one person that gets me so she's my favorite and my best teacher ever any bet marks if so where okay okay yeah i do have a bet mark um that would be let's check it will be here it's very faint but I would leave a picture somewhere so that you can like see the zoomed view of it. It's not much, it's kind of like a faded black mark on my neck, but yeah, I do have a bad mark. What is the strangest thing you believed as a child? Um when I was little, someone told me that if you kill lizards, they are going to appear in your dreams and deal with you guys i think the reason why this person said this thing was because a bit is because lizards they don't bite they're like harmless i guess 
I don't know. So when we're like kids, we love to chase lizards around and like hit them with stones and kill them, you get? So, <laughs> so this person was like, see if you keep killing lizards, they're going to keep appearing in your dreams and they're going to, they're going to fight you. Them and all your family members are going to fight you. So it scared me as a child and I believed it. So I, the strangest thing I think I've ever believed. Moving on guys, what language besides your native language would you like to be fluent in? Well, that would be Bibio because um, I'm studying in Akwaibum State and that's like one major dialect to speak there and because it sounds funny in my ear, like in a good way so it would be like something I would like to be fluent in but all my friends I don't know why they've never taught me I've been in that place for like 4 years I just know the little little insults like just little insults moving on guys moving on what's hard about being a parent I'm not a parent yet but I like to think myself as being born because I'm the first child and I have like three brothers and yo the hardest thing about being a parent is having stubborn children like I can't even do like I cannot do one time my my two siblings like my last two siblings they always fighting like they always fighting each other I don't get why so most of the times I'm always the one you know, suppressing them and you know you know sometimes I'm not even in the mood but the fight and I have to separate them. So one time like that they start fighting and I was like you know what today you guys are just going to fight you guys are just going to fight I'm just going to sit down here. So I sat down I was just watching them fight now that I'm like saying it out loud it sounds crazy but when my mom like just entered that place, she was screaming at me. She was like, "Why are you letting them fight? Which animal scares you the most, and why?" Like every animal scares me. Uh, snakes, dogs. Mm. As far as they can bite, as far as they can bite, I do not want to be in that situation. So. I'm not an animal person, so they scare me. They just scare me. I don't even care when people are like, yo, this dog won't bite you unless you do the you're not the dog. Don't stress me. Don't tell me that. Get to so scare me. Are you close to anyone now that you initially disliked? Yes, 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 yes. Um, there's just one person that comes to my mind right now, but I won't call her name. She knows she knows herself and she would comment in this in this video. So um I disliked her at first initially because um I didn't know her that much but knowing her from afar it kind of felt like she was rude or something. So it was like I don't even need to deal with that kind of a person, I don't even need to be in any kind of place with this person but when we stay getting close somehow i kind of knew that she was she is not was she is a very nice person and i'm even grateful to have her in my life so if you know you're the person comment comment let those people who are reading the comments know and don't just go to read comments comment Give me your own comments okay is my star sign guys that that is cancer um my birthday i think that's how they base it right my birthday is um 27th of june 27th of june so yeah your star sign is cancer comment down below i think it's from um is it from 22nd of June to 27th of July I don't know I'll make research on that but for now I know I'm cancer myself any advice what will it be 
well that would be to just go out of just go out of my comfort zone guys I'm I'm always feeling relaxed I guess so that would be something I would tell my younger self just go out experience the world just see the world in a very big large dimension and perspective don't just keep keeping your you know your amazing self to yourself so yeah that would be it when did you suffer your first heartbreak that would be like 16 yeah 16 would you rather deal with a crying baby or a saucy and spoiled child? Guys, I think I would deal with a crying baby because um, uh, babies will always cry. I remember one time when I was like 9, 10, my mom just gave birth to our last brother and her maternity leave was over and you know she needed to do some changes you know someone that will come and take care of the child you know stuff 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 so she needed to go out that day so i was like you know, you're old enough you can take care of the baby just take care of him for a while that is this my brother was crying he was just crying i did everything in my house god knows i danced i sang all those weird weird things that we even do I did all of these things. This child was still crying. I checked, you know, you know when they say, um, if your if your baby is crying, there are like a lot of things. Check if he's hungry, if he's thirsty, if he did some business on his body. And I checked all of those things. I did everything. This guy was still crying. <laughs> I said crying with this baby. Like I said crying with like I. So this this this. This is hard for me to choose, but I think I will still choose a crying baby because for me, right from time, I don't like disrespect. So I think it's saucy and a sports child. Uh uh, no, 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 no. We've come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. See you guys in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe, share this video to your friends, and guys, just do all those good good stuff and keep being beautiful. Have a have a I don't know when I'm going to upload this video, but have a nice week. Have a stress free week. Okay, let's just put it like that. Okay, so bye. -bye.